So we're going to go through a variety of different sounds today. The first one we're going to have a look at is a bit of a detuned saw wave sound, something nice and simple just to get us started off and get, get you to have a bit of a better understanding of how the different operators work and how they can work together and some of the ways that you can combine them in order to come up with quite different sort of sounds than you would typically come up with on a subtractive synthesizer. So let's get stuck into making that one. So as I mentioned, we're just going to be starting off by creating a fairly simple detuned saw type of sound, sort of thing that you'll typically come across in drum and bass. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making use of all six of our main operators and we're going to be setting it up so that we've got three basic layers happening. We're going to have one layer that is sitting down at a lower octave and then we're going to have two other layers that are sitting an octave above that and we're going to have one panned a bit left and one panned a bit right. So once we add the detuning to that it's going to give us a much bigger sound than we would have had otherwise. So as we can see, we've currently got our F operator turned on and set up. We've got it routing its audio straight to our output. We can adjust how much of it is being routed to our output just by left clicking on it and then dragging up and down. Or we can just adjust our level control, which does the same thing for us. So by default, we're on 80%. So we'll stick there for the moment. And we've currently got our waveform set on a sine wave. So we might just change that one to a sawtooth. And if we just play a note, as you can see, fairly simple sawtooth sound that you would get from pretty much any typical oscillator in a subtractive synth. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our D operator. It doesn't really matter which way you choose to use these, but because it can get a bit messy with the routing sometimes, to have a little bit of a plan to start off with can sometimes help. So we're going to use ENF to produce our, our deeper, lower octave sound, and then we're going to use C and D to produce one of our higher octave sounds, and we're going to use A and B to produce our third layer, which is the second high sound. So... We're just going to set D up for the moment, and we're also going to route some of it to the output. About the same as we've got happening with the other one. To get this one to go up an octave for us, it's just a matter of turning the ratio up to 2, which will basically double the frequency of the note that is feeding into that operator. And we're just going to also do the same for our B operator. So we set that to about 80% as well. Just go into that one and we're just going to turn its ratio up. So we've got our F operator producing our lower frequency with our one to one ratio. And we've got our D operator and our B operator producing at a octave higher than that. You can also pan these guys. So in order to pan our D to the right, we can simply just click and drag on our panning, which is our lower row, as we can see here. So just pan that one 55 to the right. We can pan the other one about the same to the left, as we can see there. So if we just play that sound, we'll just quickly change these oscillators to also be sawtooths. Just giving us something a bit more along the lines of what we're after. Mm -hmm. 